What's up, guys? It's been a while since I've been back, man. I have been in Europe for like 16 days. We went to London. We went to Rome, Venice, Paris, Barcelona. Love Barcelona. I loved all of it, but Barcelona was, was crazy. And with that, I do have to announce that I will be here in the UK in Birmingham at the end of this month. I believe it's on the 25th, the 25th of September. If you want to go to Joshua P's Instagram, you'll be able to see all the details. This is going to be a great class. It, it reminds me of EWP on steroids. It's going to be in UK. It's going to be dope, man. It's going to be some amazing, amazing educators, and I'm excited to be part of that. So if you were wondering if I was doing any classes and while I was in Europe, I wasn't. I was unplugged, hanging out with the family, creating memories, but I'll be back at the end of this month i'll be in the uk so make sure you pull up man come check your boy out come check out this uh this amazing event all right but with that being said man i want to go ahead and start reacting to some videos i gotta get back i haven't dropped the video in like two weeks guys we gotta get back into the swing of things i was browsing through um youtube and i'm like bro i got i gotta i gotta watch one of these videos anytime i i look up barber these type of videos pop up now i ain't gonna react to this guy he was mad because i didn't shout him out enough not that i didn't shout him out I didn't shout him out enough. I reacted to two of his videos, put a link in the description for his channel, showed him love, said go subscribe. He wanted more, it wasn't enough, so I'll never react to this guy's channel. But this guy, we can react to his, his channel. When I reacted to his, this guy, Volpa, whatever, it wasn't a lady barber, but these guys are going to other countries. They're specifically targeting female barbers and um, getting a, a crap ton of views from it. So let me see why so many people are viewing it besides the fact that it's chicks. On. Hello, how are you? How much is the hair, uh, the beard? This is amazing, oh my God. This is an amazing place. Oh, body massage. This is an amazing place. This looks like heaven. Good morning guys from another beautiful day here in- That gives so much, so much weirdo vibes. This looks like heaven. <laughs> Vietnam, right now I'm in Ho Chi. But it's crazy. I think barbershops like that exist in the States too, but that's, that's pretty crazy. A lot of pretty uh, girls dressed up. They're all barbers cutting hair. It's crazy. Still just hanging out, enjoying my time here. And today I'm going to take you guys to discover something very interesting that happens here in this country. Now here in Vietnam, they actually love to have um, beautiful ladies cut them up at a salon. They look very interesting. They definitely look like places that are everything but a traditional salon. You have a lot of beautiful women dressed up in these very beautiful tight. If it's a salon, I feel like most stylists dress nice for salons. They're comfortable too, but they dress nice. Dresses. Is this barbershop? How much for the haircut? Beard, how much? Wow, beautiful ladies. Hello, how are you? How much is the hair, uh, the beard? Yeah, the beard. Nah, this is different. Definitely different. The way they, they sitting outside, all dressed, all dressed yeah, up. Yeah, one hundred. One hundred? Yes. Okay, can we do that? Yes, you will have You tip one hundred. I tip one hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Two hundred. Yeah. Let's do it. Why don't they just say two hundred? This is amazing. Oh my god. Look. <laughs> this is an amazing. Bro, and they all like hello. <laughs> Please. Hello. Wow, this is a beautiful salon. Okay. This is my first Vietnamese salon experience. And wow, I'm impressed, guys. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys thought when I was walking up here because this looks like heaven. First Vietnamese salon experience. Wow, look at this guy. He's getting his nails done, hair done, everything. And then you got the male barber back there. Maybe they don't actually do the haircuts, the girls. Like she's getting even more beautiful for us. Wow, what an amazing salon, huh? All right, guys, I'll clock back in in about five minutes. Wow, she's getting even more beautiful for us. Barber comes on out. I'm excited. Wow, they're all getting ready. What a place. Vietnam, Vietnam is amazing. Oh, my God. Never seen something like this in my life. I can't. I can't wait to see it. Yes. No. No. <laughs> it's just for me. Which one's the which one's the massage? Okay. Which one's the massage? Which one's the massage? Just body massage. Oh, body massage plus VIP room. Yeah, more. Okay. Um. What's what's here body massage? Which one's on? Four hundred fifty. After you tip for the girl, minimum same same view. Okay. 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 Then I'll I'll do the. No, I'll just do the beer. Just do the beer. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah. and yeah, basically, I'm not sure exactly what happens in those VIP rooms, but um, yeah, that is upstairs. Oh no, which I think happens in those VIP rooms, man. In a different location. Okay, so this place might be exactly what I thought it is, to be honest. We're gonna have to come back here off film and see what really goes down inside of this barber shop. But for now, yeah, enjoy the view, guys. This one's called Mimi Beauty Salon, in case you guys are wondering. So I had to look up how much 450,000 uh, Vietnamese, I'm gonna say dollars, how much that is in, in dollars, in US dollars. $19. So like the top service that they have is $19, which means she wants like a $5 tip. That's crazy. My man, you, just for the video, you should have done all of it. That's what I thought. The guy is the barber. So he was finishing up that haircut. The guy is the barber. The girls were upselling because they wanted to give manicure, pedicure. They wanted to give them a, a massage. That's what the girls do in this establishment. They're not making a lot of money doing it, but they hustling, man. They doing, you know, they're grinding. They're doing a lot for the for they're doing a lot for for five bucks. So yeah, this is definitely a trap. They get you with all those beautiful ladies outside, bro. So you're the best barber here. Amazing. Where are you from? US. US, right? Yeah, California. And you? Sure, man. Vietnam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit. Okay. But hopefully you guys still enjoy the view. You're gonna enjoy it a lot more than I am. Man. Look, you guys actually get to see everything that's going on behind me. Bro, why are there so many girls there? There's so many girls back there. My man's nice with the razor too. Oh man. Oh hell no. Bro, the way he's like looking around and stuff while he's getting shaved, barbers. I know this guy wants to backhand him. I think what just happened was an actual lineup to see who who you choose to finish off your haircut experience with. Oh, ho, 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 ho. wow. All right, this video is crazy. They got lineups happening. Yeah, it looks good. Can I get just these right here? Yeah, just straight. Thank you. Looks good, sir. Thank you. How many years you cut hair? One? <laughs> yeah. Hey, for a year, he's nice with the razor, though. Thank you, thank you. I have more, I have more. Let me see where. So, what an experience, right, guys? Now, I don't like to expose these places, but that was not legit at all. So, what happened was, I got told I was going to get a barber um, or my beard trimmed by the ladies, and it turns out that none of those ladies inside of there cut hair or trim beards. They all offer you massages. Now, once I actually put the camera down for those five minutes, I actually got approached by several ladies that wanted to give me a VIP room experience for 70 US dollars, which honestly, let's be real, that's not the cheapest, right? I mean, it's cheaper than if you come from Western countries and if you're into that thing, but I'm definitely not into paying for uh, women. It's not my thing. But um, if you're into that, that's definitely one of those um, salons you can- It's not a salon. That's a barber shop right because they know women going in there at least i don't think getting a balayage and then getting the the zohan treatment i mean maybe maybe zohan is in there too putting in work but that's kind of crazy man crazy video and then you got the barber there you know he's building his clientele doing quick shaves and he knows where his clients are going to next that's crazy all right well now i know what all these female barber videos in other countries are about and why so many of these guys make these videos i mean they get crazy views let's see what the comments talking about the vietnamese women are some of the most beautiful in the world holy whatever super brave of, of you to keep filming and talking to us while <laughs> yeah exactly while he was getting the razor near his throat yeah tripping i give you a lot of credit for going in i've traveled to some of various cities i've experienced with three similar places as well thank you for your honest opinion many videos are great i love the positive attitude chris i'm not strong enough to to not go for the full body massage in the vip room <laughs> hey that might be the that might be the comment say shut up and take my buddy <laughs> Oh snap, that's funny. This guy, he obviously has his community. It was a little bit weird for me watching watching his channel for the first time and not cringing, but this is what he does, man. And it's actually pretty pretty good content, man. So interesting business model. I don't think I, I don't think any of that exists in the states. I could be wrong. Hey, more power to him for not for not upgrading to that VIP service. <laughs> that's discipline. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one.